Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, and that's right, we're still on the island. That's because we're still um, figuring out some of the stuff from the TLC patch. Yes, uh, we're still doing stuff like that, which means that uh, I need to uh, do a few things here. Um, we're going to be uh, taking a look at breeding with Procoptodons today. That's right. I want to see, for science, what is the difference between these guys. I, I had a Microraptor out here. What happened to you? You didn't die, did you? I had a Microraptor just running around out here. And it was actually, it, I had tamed it a while back. Oh, there you are. All right, let's see. Can I? I can't put you in my pouch. No pouch for you? Oh, dude, you can't put Microraptors in pouches? All right, let's see. Let's pick you up. All right, Foo. You'll be fine in there, all right, buddy? It's nice and warm and cozy, dude. All right. Oh, hold on. I'm loving this jump. This thing is so cool. <laughs> oh, this thing's amazing. Ah. <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, today we're going to be uh, breeding with um, oh, Procoptodons. And which means that I need to take something that... Oh, you got beat up, dude. Eat your meat, buddy. Wow. Yeah, he ended up getting into a... Uh, a tiff with a uh, um, Therizinosaurus that just decided it want to uh, go over by the back gate and there you go, bombing him out. All right, there you go. All right, let's see. Yeah, he wanted to go by the back gate and then my Microraptor, he was over there because I guess that's where Microraptors like to be. And yeah, yeah. And then I saw. Um, Oh, uh, oh, what's his name? <laughs> oh, I saw Chester running around. He's over there. He's uh, in the back area. Yeah, he's still just wandering around doing his thing. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, so now we need to take, I think we're going to try Thylacolios first, just to see if they work inside of a Procoptodon's pouch. And then I want to, I'm hopefully going to get twins because I've got two Procoptodons, which means that, I think I want to see if I can get twins, so where if, oh, there's an Allosaurus egg in here, alright, so where, they're both the exact same stats, so where if one of them, if there's any difference in stats, I'll know it, but yeah, um, I'm hoping, I'm not gonna bet I'm gonna get twins, but yeah. Um, if we don't, then we're just gonna do this the hard way, but I'm still gonna keep breeding just to see. If I can get twins. If I can get twins, I'm going to stop the uh, um, experiment here, the test, and then see if we can get them going in an orderly fashion. One in the pouch and one out of the pouch. Just to see as they go. Hey, yeah, well, we could do that. Yeah, and we could do that while we're breeding up a regular one inside the other pouch because we've got two pouches. Oh, wow, this is so crazy. It just might work. That's right, Squatch. What do you think? Yeah? Just keep sitting over there looking pretty, Squatch. Alright, <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Uh, now we need to get, uh, we should have, uh, these. Uh, we only need two of these. Yep, sweet! Get over here, get these guys all, uh, wandering, doing their little thing, give them a little bit of privacy. You know, a little, uh, you know... Well, you know what's going to go on. There's some bow chicka bow wow that's going on here. All right. So, let's get you... Dude, your tail's in the way, man. All right. Let's see. Let's get you uh, behavior. Naval wandering, buddy. All right. You go. You do it. Start wandering like you've never wandered before. And I can't get in here. All right. Uh, behavior. Naval wandering. Can I get out? See, that's the beauty of tech tier. When you get pinned by your thylacolios... You can get out of there. All right, so hey, I'm going to get this started, and I'll see you guys in a bit. And also, just as a disclaimer, for this episode, I did turn down uh, um, breeding times. Uh, so where, uh, well, the the time it takes to mate again, I turned that down. Uh, I, yeah, it's at zero right now, so, and, but as soon as I log out, it'll reset back to default. All right, so hey, um, I'm going to get this done, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, let's get a second saddle on you. And I already put a saddle on the other one on the stream that I did. 
Alright, not a lot of fun on that stream. <laughs> that was really cool. And I'm thinking about here pretty soon setting up a, uh, um... Oh, a time on the weekends for where I stream at least once a week. And I'm thinking that, you know, I'll try my best to see if I can get that time, you know I mean? If I go out of town or something like that, of course I won't be able to do it, but yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll have it on either Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. Um, I'll have to think on that a little bit more. How you doing? But yeah. And also, um, one thing, um that I wanted to uh, clarify is, uh, yeah, on, in the stream, I said that um, uh, I was just waiting on the TLC patch before we moved on to the other arcs, and that's right, I was waiting on the TLC patch, but we've got so much stuff with the TLC patch we've got to cover, and I don't want to just, you know, uh, rapid fire out, you know, a butt ton of videos and be like, yeah, hey, all right, here's everything you need to know about the TLC patch. I, I kind of want to do it, you know, like this, where, you know, we do the little bits and testing, and we see exactly how it's going, and yeah. So, alright. Um, so I'm just waiting on this girl to, uh, finally give birth, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. Let's hope for some twins! Alright, let's hope for some twins. Alright, it's not twins, but it should work. Come on. Alright, let's get over here. Blame you. Alright. Let's see if we can get you out of here. Come on. See, let's turn you off uh, behavior, save a wandering, ride you, get you out over here, just where I can let you sit right there. And let's get the baby out here. All right, come on, dude. Right here, uh, behavior, save a wandering, let's get a little bit of meat on you, because you're probably going to be a little hungry. All right, let's take you. Let's put you up inside here, and let's see if we can get Thylacolio babies. Why do you still have mating? That should reset. Oh, you guys are still just going at it. Just turn off the Wanderer, and then you're just like, hey, hold that pose just for a minute. And then, you know, you come back, and they're like, all right, now where were we? All right, and then they turn back on the um, um, slow music, and yeah. All right. All right, so let's see if we can pick up a Thylacolio. We can! Oh, that is awesome! So we've now got a baby Thylacolio in the pouch. That's cool! Hey, buddy! How you doing, dude? Oh, man, let's get a screenshot of this. That is so cute! <laughs> That's cool! All right! That's the thumbnail right there. Just in case you guys were wondering if where we're getting the thumbnail from. There it is. That's it. Hey, buddy! How you doing? All right, so how do we imprint? How do we interact with you? Or you're in there? Oh, I can just, I can just access your inventory right through here and everything. Oh, that is awesome! All right, well let's get another one. Let's see if we can get you know more going on. Because now I want to uh, take one and I don't. I want to put it outside of the saddle. And I wonder how they're gonna do walks. Do I just walk the uh, of the Procoptodon? Well, we're going to definitely try it. Let's hope for a walk. All right, first thing you want to do, dude, is a walk. All right, let's get uh, you some help. Hey, buddy. Yeah, eat up. That's pretty cool, jumping animation. Or uh, level up animation. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so let's check on these guys, see what they're doing. You guys just picking up, resuming right where you left off. Good job. Appreciate the dedication. All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, we've got a second one just sitting in here. All right, hold on. Let's uh, behavior to save wandering. Let's get you out of here. All right, and it appears to be 226 as well, which means that we've got two that are the same level, which who needs twins when you get to the exact same level? All right, so let's uh, get you over here. Put you right next to here, buddy. Come on. Oh, these baby thylacol. <laughs> these guys are so awesome. All right. These things are just the cutest thing. Now, I want to see the um, imprint animation inside of the uh, kangaroo pouch because <laughs> these things, their animation is just the best. All right, let's get you some food. There you go, buddy. Some nice steak for you. All right? Yeah, nothing but the best here on El Rancho Flinger. All right, let's see. 
more steak for you, all right? If you guys want some prime, just uh, put the order in with your waiter, okay? All right, so hey, I've got a little bit of waiting to do, and I'll see you guys in a bit, because there we go. Now I'm back, and there. All right, I turn on so many things, and then it's just a pain in the butt. All right, so 21 minutes and 15 minutes. All right, all right, so hey, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, and I was thinking, while these guys are still imprinting, and it's only been about a minute, <laughs> it's like, hey, you know what would be cool? If we get a second type of dino, just to see what will fit in this pouch. You know what, let's go, let's go all the way, full bore. You know, let's, uh, actually, you know what? Do I have any already laid eggs that need to be hatched? Let's see. I don't know. We'll go find out. I might have some allosauruses. I have a Packy Rhino and a Baryonyx. Perfect! Let's hatch these suckers up. Can you take in here? No. Nothing in here. All right, what about in here? Oh. No, it's Gallimimus. No, it's terrible. Those are just regular eggs. Just regular eggs. False alarm. All right, so uh, let's uh, get over here and let's hatch these little suckers up and see if they'll fit in the pouch. Now, I don't really intend on fully imprinting these guys. I just want to see if they'll fit. Turn you on. Cheech, I'm going to throw down some eggs. Don't eat them, dude. Right? All right, let's get you going. Let's get you going. All right, so we've got two different eggs down here. Both different types. Uh, let's go see if we can get... No, I, I already have the Allosaurus. I uh, don't need any more. Good looking out, Greg. Keep it up, dude. You're doing a fantastic job, man. Sure thing, dude. I compliment you and your poop. Good job. All right. Um, maybe we should go see what the new baby Rexes look like. Um, I kind of like that idea. All right, which means that... Let's see. I have a male here. I hope I have a female still. No, I kind of went through Rexes. But I, I just want to see if the... What is that? What is that? A baby? Where did you- Oh! <laughs> I guess we've got a third! Alright! Just when you thought you were done with Thylacolios, you all of a sudden get a third. Alright, Oreo, you're talented. Alright, are you done? All right, <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right, so uh, let's get uh, Rex's, see if we've got a female. All right, what are you? You're a female, okay, cool. And what about this one down here? You're male, okay, so this is our last breeding pair of Rex's, really? Whoa, all right, last breeding pair of Rex's, right here. Alright, so now we've got to get these two lined up, and I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna you breed them. Which means that I'm gonna stand here and I'm just gonna spam you so where they don't run. Because I don't want to build a whole new structure for them right now. Um. No, you guys are too big for the Allosaurus structure, huh? It's too big. Rexes. They're just too darn big. Alright, let's see, um, let's get, uh... You following, and you following, and, oh. You can make them roar like that? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so uh, behavior, enable wandering. Uh, behavior, enable wandering. All right, now let's see. Let's target the female. Stop moving, guys. Stop moving. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for a minute and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, we got an egg. And let's see. All right, let's go pick this up. Oh, did I get the babies yet? Did they hatch yet? Baby Packy Rhino. Where's my baby Baryonyx? Cheese, did you eat it? If you ate my Baryonyx, I'm going to be upset. Okay, there's a baby Baryonyx wandering around here. Uh, let's see. Uh, behavior to save wandering. Come here, dude. 
It'll surface eventually. Maybe. Alright, let's see. Can we put you inside of there? Yeah, you can fit a uh, Packy Rhino inside there. That's awesome. All right, let's uh, just throw you out. Are you male or female? If you're fem if you're male, oh, sorry, dude. Uh, you're not a keeper. All right, let's see. Um, if you were a baby Baryonyx, where would you be? Hmm. Oh! Oh, it only keeps it in there for so long? Oh, that's not very cool. Oh. Wait. That's the wrong one. This is the right one. What happened? Oh, when it grew, it kicked it out. Oh, look. Wrong one. Oh, it stood on it. Don't be standing on the babies. Why can't you pick this one up? Oh. Oh, when they reach a certain size, it can't be in there. So this right here, there's a small, slight size difference. I have a feeling when this one right here grows, it's going to be ejected. Hmm. That's not good. That's really not good. That kind of changes everything. All right, well, let's see. Can we at least pick up a Rex and put it in there? Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Now, let's get you out of the way. Oh, yep, yeah, just got ejected. Oh, no, that is very unfortunate. But you know what? If you were playing on the uh, public servers where it takes a lot longer to raise these dudes up, I, I can see how that would make a big difference. Because... It would take a long time for these guys to get this size on the public service. Because on this one right here, I think I'm running like times 30. Which means, yeah. But anyway, I still want to see if a Rex will fit inside this pouch. And then we just can't pick any of these guys up, can we? Is there like some sort of a weight problem? I don't know. See, we can pick up this one over here. But we can't pick up these. That's, oh, uh, all right. That's unfortunate from my perspective, but it's actually still kind of cool from for people playing on public servers or at default stats. Yeah, default breeding and stuff like that because, yeah, well, it does make a difference. It does. Just not for me. But that's just because I increased the stats. So, yeah, hey, all right, that's kind of cool. All right, we're, we're still going to see if a Rex will fit in here. All right, how much time do you have? You still have a long time left. All right. All right, well, hey, when it's time for the Rex, I will bring you guys back, and I will uh, see you guys in a bit. Now, this is kind of cool. You can actually have them pick up. Oh, I can pick up Foo from my pocket? Dude, you pulled him off my shoulder. Give him back. That's kind of cool. Move from pouch. Pick up baby Thylacolio. Okay. So let's get back Foo. Foo, come here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see. How how big of a distance is that? Uh, just not very big. Let's see. And yeah, these guys are too big. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Huh. I wonder, maybe if we bred foos, we could put them in there and keep them in there the entire time. We must for science this. That's right. We must for science this. And then it also gives me an excuse to breed out foo. Because, I mean, foo, he's been getting a little frisky. Yeah, he, he just has. I mean, there was in the stream where one of the foos was doing something weird to the, uh, Squatch's shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's go grab a Foo. Let's see. What are you, Foo? What 
Let's see, you are male, of course. And then where... And you're female, perfect. All right, what are you? Oh, you're female, you're higher level. All right, so bunny ears wins out. Come here. All right, let's uh, go get a, a nice secluded spot for these guys so where they can breed. And then we're going to uh, get them doing the uh, thing. And yeah, we don't want to mention what that thing is. But we want to get it done and we want to do it in a way where they can't wander off. All right, so hey, I will see you guys in a bit. My Rex is wandering off. Back here, dude. That's right, I caught you. Get your butt back here. Come on. Come on, baby Rex. You've got a pouch to stick you in. Come <laughs> on, dude. <laughs> See, this is what's been happening. I've just been getting sidetracked all day. I was actually overbuilding the enclosure for foo. Come on, dude. Now, are you a male or a female? If you're a male, I'm sorry. You're a female. All right, we might be able to keep you. Okay, um, let's uh, remove you from... <laughs> oh, when babies roar, that's so cool. All right, uh, let's see. Be behavior, disabled wandering. Let's give you some meat. All right, and then let's... All right, let's see if I can pick you up. No, you're just too big. Rexes are too big because Rexes are just too dang big. All right, so yeah. Um, an Arjun over there. All right, so yeah, uh, Thylacolios, when they reach a certain size, oh. Oh, 50%, that's not normal. Is that because you guys are around here? Huh, I might, when the next one comes up to imprint, I'm, I'm, you know, let's move these guys away. Over here. And when the next imprint comes up, I want to see. Alright, how much time is left on the next imprint? Four minutes, eight minutes, okay. That's really good, though. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. How much meat do you guys have in your trough? A little. I need to go get more. All right. Yeah. Um. Let me uh, go see what I can... Oh, dude. No, no, no. He's gone. He's gone. He never existed. Stop running. All right. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, let's get... Uh... Uh, the, the Foo Sanctuary area over there set up, and then we're gonna get, uh, wait on these imprint right here, we're gonna drink another one of our test 4.5s, and then we're gonna get this all situated. I got a lot going on right now. Oh, a lot going on. Alright, let's eat some food too. 4.4. Alright, see you guys in a minute. Alright, so here we're gonna find out if there was any increase. Nope, no increase from the Procoptodons on imprinting. But we've got this little Foo right here, Shifu. It is about to uh, give us a baby. And I put her over here in the uh, clearest area right here just so I could see the little baby because these things are tiny. I mean, absolutely tiny. All right, I'm just waiting on the last little bit for her. 29 seconds. You guys ready for some time travel? All right. Time travel, here we go. Time travel engaged. Bam, there we go. Oh, and he got the green stripe. Dude, come back here. Dude. Ah, oh, sweet. All right, so let's see. Uh, you got Foo's colors. All right. Let's give you some berries, buddy. All right, let's uh, take you off of uh, behavior, disabled wandering, uh, you, and let's go get a Procoptodon. Uh, let's see. Let's put you in the bigger, beefier one. Uh, let's see. Long one. That's Shifu. There you go. Did that go in there? You are! Oh, sweet! All right. All right, so he's in there, and I want to see how long he stays in there. I'm betting it'll be the whole time, which is awesome, which means you could probably breed up otters, uh, Ichthyornis, uh, Mesopithecus, tame up all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, all right, that'd be awesome.
All right, so hey, yeah, I'm going to uh, imprint this guy up fully, and I will see you guys in a bit. But this is kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's a bit disappointing. I mean, of course, I mean, there's only so much you could fit in a pouch. I realize this. But <laughs> and there's only, you know, in order of being realistic, poop, you just pooped on my shoulder, bud. All right, let's, I'm always hiding your poop, dude. All right, but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, to be realistic, I mean, yeah, you can't have a baby Thylacolio grow up fully inside of a kangaroo's pouch. You just can't do it. All right, so that makes sense. Um, I just wonder what the cutoff limit is. I would imagine probably, probably just shoulder pads. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to figure out. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, this Mesopithecus, he's even eating off the trough, which is pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting that. I was thinking, may I mean, maybe since he was in there, that he might eat not eat off the trough. But he is, which is pretty dang cool. All right, now I've got a ton of extra meat, so let's get it up here and put it inside of the uh, trough up here. Oh, we've got some eggs. All right, uh, you guys ready for some meat? All right, there you go. All right, you guys can even get the spoiled stuff. Uh, let's get the egg. Oh, more eggs. Sweet. Hey. Be quiet, I'm just taking your egg. Alright, you're used to this by now, I hope. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh, raising up this uh, foo, and I will see you guys in a bit. Because he's got... It's really hard to see his bar. Let's see. Where are you, dude? I want a gun at you. See if that helps. <laughs> No, it's just, it's really, really hard to see this guy. Oh, dude. Come here. Alright, alright. We will get this one day. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get it, I swear. It's, uh, well, here, hold on. There you go. Where'd you go? Give you some more berries. How much time do you have? 15 minutes, okay. Um, there you go. There you go. Pick up the baby Mesopithecus. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit after I get done c getting caught on a bunch of tails. All right, now I've been trying really hard to uh, be able to target this guy. And sometimes it's it's kind of a pain in the butt. I have it up here on this, and this seems to be like the best way. But you kind of have to reset him every once in a while. Yeah, see, now I can target him. Now I can see. But every time he grows... Yeah, see right there? Now I'm not going to be able to target him. It's really really difficult to target this guy yeah um i mean really difficult <laughs> wow um i'm not sure how that's gonna happen but yeah i mean he's growing really fast i mean really fast how are you guys doing how are you doing all right how about you dimitrodon egg i can get you that if you want but i'm not sure if i want to carbo egg huh let's see i i Let's see if we have Demetrodon and Carbo in here. I'm pretty sure we do. Um, okay. All right, fine. If you guys want it, I've got the extra stuff. The only thing stopping me is from bringing you out. All right, so who ordered the Carbo? That would be you, right? There you go. All right, and who ordered the Demetrodon? There you go. All right, what do you want? Oh, you don't want anything yet. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, and you still have a while. All right, I'm just waiting on this guy. Um, it, it Like I said, it's really hard to target these guys inside the pouch. I mean, really hard. Uh, yeah, you just have to reset it, and then hopefully you can see it, and then put it back in, and yeah. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so this guy wants to go for a walk with me, so I want to see if... If by putting him in here, if he'll actually do this. Oh, oh, the Shifu. <laughs> I have to remember to go get. No, I don't think it'll. Do... He'll do it. I think he has to follow. Huh. 
and see. Let's see if I put him on follow. And then pick him up. If that'll do it. I'm pretty sure it won't. No, it's not going to do it. Yeah, he has to follow me. Really being difficult. This is the problem with foos. Yeah, they have an attitude. Even the babies. There we go. Whoa. That was a large imprint. All right. Maybe I might need to turn that down a little bit. Actually, I'm pretty sure I need to turn that down. All right, come on, buddy. Get you over here, back by uh, your kangaroo. There you go, back in your pouch. All right, but yeah, I mean, I think we're just about done here. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, I wanted to breed with the... Um, with the Procoptodons just to see how it worked. And so what did we learn? Well, we learned that, you know, the younger dinos, the smaller dinos, once they, they have a smaller size, as long as they have that smaller size, they can fit in the pouch and you can protect them with the Procoptodon, stuff like that. Um, but once they reach over that size, yeah, they just plop out, which it makes sense. It really does. But the uh, Mesopithecus and I would imagine other smaller dinos, mostly shoulder pets and stuff like that, they... Uh, they can stay in the pouch the entire time. Yeah, I'll probably do a little cut at the end just to make sure it can go in there. But I mean, a full-grown Mesopithecus can uh, um, fit inside a Procoptodon's pouch, and it can just it can live happily there. It can live its entire life inside of a Procoptodon's pouch <laughs> if you really wanted it to. It's like they could be, you know, like just a pair where one went, the other one went until it started taking damage, and then the thing inside the pouch died. <laughs> All right, that sounds so horrible. All right, but hey, if you guys liked the video, click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everyone. All right, so uh, yeah, um, now we come to the decision. Do you want? What you need to be imprinted again? All right. Do you want? Do you want to have a a foo live inside your pouch? You really don't, do you? Yeah, the look on your eyes tells me no way. That that would be miserable, huh? I know those guys are going around. They're getting into all the trouble. I mean, seriously, they do. It's great, though. <laughs> All right, take it easy, everyone.